Forgive, but don't go back to what broke you. Jesus teaches us that if we forgive others their trespasses, our Heavenly Father will also forgive us, but if we do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will our Father forgive our trespasses. Apostle Paul in his letter to the Ephesians admonishes us to be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave us. Nelson Mandela was credited to have said, As I walked out the door toward the gate that would lead to my freedom, I knew if I didn't leave my bitterness and hatred behind, I'd still be in prison. Louis Smedes was said to have said that to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you. Forgiveness is more of what we do for ourselves than what we do for others. Forgive for the sake of God. One of the best ways to liberate ourselves and set ourselves free is through forgiveness. It is okay to forgive and not forget because sometimes a wound may heal, but the scar remains. Remember the saying that to err is human. We are humans. We offend others and others offend us. Maybe we can learn to let go. We do sin against God, and we do ask for forgiveness, and God does forgive us. Remember those times we hurt others, and we asked for forgiveness, they forgave us. Therefore, forgive people, not because what they did is right or justified, but because you are heaven-bound, and because you are a child of God. Be the bigger person. Be classier by taking the high road and forgive. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness. It takes a strong person to forgive. Forgiving those that hurt you does not make you a coward but a hero. Do not revenge. Do not repay evil with evil. Leave vengeance for God. God knows how to fight for you, defend you, speak for you, and vindicate you. There is a blessing and peace of mind that comes from forgiving those that hurt you. Do not deprive yourself of that blessing and peace of mind by bearing grudges within you. Let it go. Forgive and move on. Unburden your heart. You are a hero for forgiving. Lots of respect goes to you for forgiving. I hope you heal. I hope you see the need to forgive. I hope you do not consider giving power to someone that hurt you by making them make you angry, sad, and mad. Shake it off and forgive them. Now that you have forgiven, please be more circumspect. Do not go back to what hurt you. Do not go back to what broke you. It is always safer to forgive people, but deny them access. Do not allow same person to hurt you twice. Do not even give that chance or that opportunity. For the sake of your peace, you need to learn to keep some people at an arm's length. Learn to avoid some people and some occasions. No one wants drama. No one enjoys being hurt. There are some people whose only job is to go about hurting people. There are people you need to cut off in your life. There are places you need to avoid going. There are persons you need to stop talking to if you don't want to be hurt again. Do not intentionally or deliberately put yourself in a situation where people can hurt you easily. Learn not to take everything too personal. Life is too short to take everything too personal. Learn to ignore some things and move on. Pick and choose your fights. You don't have to be distracted by every chatter along the way. 
You have a destiny to fulfill and a race to run. One of the things wise people do is to avoid toxic people, toxic relationships, and toxic places. Make peace, reconcile, but be careful. Be smart and watch out. Shine your eyes. You can survive without them. You don't need to have them around you always. You need to stop thinking that without them you cannot survive. It is time to start living your best life. It is time to start enjoying your life. Run away from every poison and negativity. You deserve better. You are one of a kind. Maddie Pruitt Trout on X once tweeted, You can forgive some people without welcoming them back into your life. Apology accepted, access denied. Dear God, I lift my eyes before you. I look up to you. Give me the grace not to go back to what destroyed me, to avoid people that hurt me, to distance myself from every negative energy and toxic spirit. Through your Holy Spirit, inspire me to forgive those who offended me and let go. Rid my heart of bitterness and grudge and set me free from any bondage of unforgiveness. Amen.